So you obviously last year were drafted but weren't able to come in, but you've come in this year, you've been getting a lot of starts. How, what was sort of your mentality coming in this year and, and what is, do you think has enabled you to get on the field as much as you have? Um, I mean, I don't think I had any expectations coming in. I think having knee surgery, I didn't really know where I would kind of fit in coming here, but I think just every time I step on the field, I just try to give 110%. And even if things aren't maybe going my way technically or tactically, um, I just try to give 110%. I know that just putting in that effort every single game, that's kind of just been my mentality going into every game. You've played both defense and in the midfield. How do you sort of make the adjustments when you're, you're not necessarily, I guess now more midfield, but not necessarily um, playing just one position? I think the coaches do a really good job in mentally preparing you for the week. So I know generally where I'm going to play, I would say at the beginning of the week or five out, five days at least before a game. So I think kind of knowing mentally um, where I'm going to play helps when I'm training because I'm getting reps in that position. Why do you think just training in this environment has helped you grow as a player this year? I think just because every practice we all try to make each other better and there's obviously a lot of like seniority and a lot of people who've had a lot of experience and I think they try to give that give us all the wisdom they can when we're on the field and I think just having those leaders here is what's really helped me in this environment. And then last year you had the knee surgery or you found out you were going to need knee surgery just a few days um, before the draft if I remember correctly. Yes. Um, what was your reaction when that happened and, and did you wonder at that point whether you would end up being able to, to ever make it out here? Yeah I definitely had a lot of doubts and it was pretty disappointing, but I think from the beginning, once I had surgery and I started doing rehab, I just had the mentality that I could do this and I could get back to where I was before. So I think just having that mentality before I even had surgery helped. If I remember correctly, Mark at first thought that you might be able to come out last year at some point, and then I guess as, as you were recovering, it was decided um, that you would wait till this season. How did that sort of process work? I think mentally I needed it just to give myself confidence and I trained at Florida so I was still in a training environment but I think just getting more reps on the ball um, after that surgery really helped prepare me for this. Um, in terms of training at, at Florida what what would you kind of focus on last year knowing that you're trying to prepare yourself um, for the professional level but you're not you know competing at the college level you're not competing with a professional team how did you sort of make sure your training was at the level it needs to be? Doing a lot of stuff on my own doing a lot of stuff you know outside of just the training environment that I was in and just doing a lot of individual work and a lot of outside fitness just to make sure that when I did step into this environment that I could try to be as prepared as possible. And what, what kind of your focus is like when you go on the field right now um, as someone in central midfield, what, what are kind of the goals for you that you set um, that you want to make sure you do every game? Just trying to break up tackles whenever I get the opportunity and try to anticipate and just always be on my front foot and that's kind of, I think, how I've played this year is just always trying to anticipate where the ball's going to go or just try to be a huge defensive presence. And then just last for me, um, you said you came in with no expectations sort of this year. Now, given the point you're at, um, where do you kind of set your expectations now? Oh, that's a good question. Um, just trying to, I guess, be the best version of myself on the field and just kind of just like I said in the beginning, giving my all every time I step on the field. And I think if I'm doing that, then there's obviously going to be sometimes things I can't control or my touch is off or whatever it may be that day. But I think just giving that 100% effort every time I step on the field and not ever knowing if it's going to be my last game. So just trying to do that and have that mentality.